Hello, 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 everyone. I am Paula Abdul. And hello, everyone. I got two cameras. I got one over here and one over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to be able to move back a little bit. To use a steamer and how to get that drop curl that I did uh, on the video that I did previously. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, be demonstrating um, my video. I'm not getting here. Excuse me. Very good. Okay, that way I can be on both videos. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate how to be able to get that drop curl look, um, uh, and, and then also how to be able to curl hair. And um, with the steaming and with the curling iron. So the very first thing you're gonna have to do in the, and have to get is if you don't already have it already is a steamer. I'm using the Conair. Right, you see right here, Conair. Okay, I'm moving back from two different cameras. I got a Conair. Okay. And this, and it has the switches back here. If you have high, set on high or low. Okay. Now, with this particular steamer, they have they have a cartridge. Okay, that you have to remove at the bottom. This is the cartridge. Okay. That you have to remove, okay, in order to be able to get put water in it. Now it already has some water in there, and you can see it has some water in there, okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put this steamer to the side for a second, and I'm gonna break this down to you how to be able to get your water into your steamer. Now. For some steamers, you have to just pour the water in there and then put the cartridge back on. This one, you have to take and you have to pop the cork off. This right here and right here in the middle. That's the first thing that you're going to have to do. Okay. Next thing you're going to have to do is sometime when you're steaming hair, you're going to have to I bought, I just put some water in here. You can get any bottle. Okay. So that you can be able to put water in the steamer. Okay. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm open this bottle right here. It got the water in it, and I'm simply break down how to get it in there. Okay. Now since it has such a little bitty hole that's there, okay, it's a very little hole right at the top. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, okay, you see that? I'm trying to get it on this other camera here. This is a little bitty tiny hole that's up there that's at the top. Okay. And what now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pour some water. I'm 
into that steamer and fill it up. Okay, this is the reason why that the water bottle is so important because you have to have something that you can take and you can be able to put the water in. Then after that, you put the cork back on. Okay. I got the cork back in there. As you can see, the little cork is at the top. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this steamer, and this little area that's right here, I'm going to have to lift this back up in order to be able to secure that little cork of water back on to it. I'm breaking this thing down so it can be explained so it won't be no confusion of how that goes. Okay, and I'm doing this because of the simple fact I don't want nobody to be saying what well, it's Paula Dude's fault because she didn't break down how to be able to use this thing. Okay, it's not. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to, this a, it's a little area that's right here. It's a little area that's, it's a little hole that's right there. Okay? That little hole that's right there, it's another little nodget that's right here. Right there. That's on that steamer. Right, right here. You want to align them and get that part back together. Then, in order to get the steamer to be able to, you got to hit this button. Um, see, it's down? It's down. You got to hit that button there. Okay? And press it back on. Now, once you do that, you just let it go. Okay. Now, the next thing, in order to get that steamer, in order to come on, you have to take the steamer and you you, you, you have a high heat. Setting that's there, and you have a low heat setting. It's up to you. I'm gonna put mine on low, and then it's a trigger that's right here. It's a button. You see, I got a little. It got a, a lever there. What you want to do is you want to take that trigger, and you want to lock it, push it, and lock it down. Did you go to here? See that? They go. They go to steam coming out. You see? There it is. Okay. Now, when you want to take a wig that is unruly, you see this wig right here? This one right here. This wig is very, very, very unruly. I'm right here. Okay. This wig is very unruly. You see how tough it is? Take the steamer. And just like you would do a flat iron, go down it with the steam and start to straighten it out. This is what we're going to be doing today. Okay? Showing you that it can be done. I just straightened this one area of hair right there by just taking the steamer and running the steamer down the hair in order to get the hair straight. Okay, this is what we're going to be doing today. Now I'm going to take it, I'm going to lift this back up, turn the steamer off, steam off for one second. And I'm going to show you some other things that you're going to need in order to be able to get the hair, once you get finished steaming it, and once you get finished uh, getting it all straight, how to be able to get the style that you want. Like I said before, you're going to need clips. To be able to hold the hair clips. Okay, in place. Once you get finished making curls, or you want to hold the hair in a certain area, you go definitely need some clips. Whatever clips that you got. You got metal clips. Okay. And you got the plastic type clips. Like this. That open and close. See that? Okay. Or you have these particular type of clips or whatever type of clip that you have please use them okay because that's going to help you be able to take and separate the hair another thing that you're going to need in order to be able to untangle this type of hair if you don't have a wig brush then get you a brush okay they will, will help detangle the hair a 
prefer to use these kind because they help you undertake detangle unruly wigs really, really quick, like this. Or you go need a brush just like this, okay? Because they help detangle hair that's unruly very well. And you need to part that hair, okay? Make sure that you got a comb. They have a line like this, okay? Because it, it has a little pick on the end. If you need to cut hair that is unruly, okay, or hair to a certain length, or you're going to fix a certain style, you're going to need a scissor as well. Okay. And also, as I said, you can also get some of those old school hair clips like this to also hold hair in place. Okay. So, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Very simple, how to do that. First thing you want to do is, when you first start in the part, you can either use your comb this way, okay? And take the hair and just start to part it in sections. That's what you want to do. You just want to part the hair. Just take the hair and then, in order to get the hair out your way so that you can be able to do what you need to do. Take the hair like this and twist it. Twist it up like this. And then once you get finished doing that, take a clip and clip your section in section. That's section one. I'm putting this one up right now because this is the way we're working on. And I'll move this other wig out the way so we can get focused on this way right here okay because that's the one i'm doing now when you start getting to the back we want to do the same exact thing you want to take let's go to the back this is a clear back of the, the head piece then what we're going to do is we're going to take this little area here if it's easy for you to use the back use out the back of that cone and kind of put it apart okay put it apart then once you take it, you, you pull it apart. Okay. And you got you got enough hair again. Once you got enough hair, do the same thing. Take that hair. Now twist it. Okay. This is how you're gonna get the hair out your way. So you can be able to see. So you can be able to steam it on the wig cap. Or on the wig head. Y'all already know who the, the wig head. Anybody who ever seen my videos know I'm you doing this steaming only today. Okay? Or uh, Latoya the hair. Now, that's the wig stand. That's why I named her. Now we're going back around to the side here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take and we're just gonna part. No matter if the part is straight or not, we just want to take and we want to get the hair, okay, where we can be able to steam this hair. Then we're going to take it, we're going to spin it like this. Just twist it. Then wrap it, just like you would do if you're going to bun your hair up or turn your hair, bun your hair up. Then get one of these real big, huge clips like this and then hold it. That's why I said get one of those big, huge clips because those huge clips will hold the hair. It's strong enough. Okay, and, and, and it's not wrong with investing in, in a few, especially when you're working with weeds and you're working with real thick ones. Okay, very good. And so we focusing on this wig right here. We'll get to the other wig later on. Okay, now I'm going to show you a simple curl style. It's just a simple two or three curls on it. That you can do. Okay. But right now. We going to get back into this. And we are going to start to part again. Remember these parts don't have to be perfect. Understand. Very good. Now. What we are going to do. Is we are going to take. This next section. Okay. And we are going to spin it. Okay. Spin it, 
and get it up out your way. Take it and clip it on to the other little hair there and hold on to it. Because that's what you want to do. You want you want to get the hair out your way so you can be able to get this thing straightened out. Now, take your comb again. Go back to the back. Once again, part it through. This is extra long hair. If you got to take your hand and put it through and pull and pull and pull and pull and pull that in order to get it to untangle, then do what you do what you must. Okay? Now you see this long hair? Twist it. I'm still here. I'm on, on this camera number two. I'm still here. Okay? Because you can't see my face. Don't worry about that. Focus on the wig. Okay. Now, now that we have this hair, I got a lot of these clips here. You see this? I'm going to clip it and I'm getting it out the way. So I'm getting all this hair up out of my way so I can be able to stain it. This is the purpose. Okay. We're going to, we're making sections here. Okay. Sections. The more sections you have, the better your steam will come out. If you're doing it on the wig head, if you're not doing it on the wig head, that's something else. That's something totally different. So all we want to do is just take and clearly part down that middle like that and get all the hair out the way. It's not difficult to show you how to be able to steam the hair. But I'm not focusing on just steaming the whole wig because that'll take quite some time. But to get get it to the point where you have to stand it of how you want to do it section by section. Okay? And then we'll put one drop curl in there to break that thing down. Okay? And you should remember that it all had to do done section by section. You don't just throw it together. It's some work. Okay. Now, we have this other section right here. I'm turning it back and forth. Let me bring this down a little bit. Just a little tiny bit so you can get a focus on the wig. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this comb and I'm going to part it here. You notice this hair, I got to kind of pick through it because it's a little tangled. Okay, that's okay. Very good. Now, this is the, fo this is the area we're going to focus on for right now. Okay? Now we got, now we've done this. And we got all the hair out of our way. Twist it, wrap it, get it out of your way. Everybody will do this. This is my technique. It's my method in order to be able to steam a wig when it's on a wig head. Not on a table, on a wig head. Okay, now, what we're going to do, it, it's no need to do a lot of wetting and stuff because the steam, because the water that's in the steamer is going to do that. Okay? Now I got my comb. While I got my comb, I'm brushing out the tangles. There. Okay. Okay. Now the next thing I need to do is get, I got my steamer. You seen it before. Alright. Turn this video here. Very good. Now all I'm going to do is hit this button. You see this thing? It's coming out. See it? Now I'm going to hold on to it. Now don't hold on to the hair way up here where the steam will get you. Hold on and get all, go all the way down and hold all the way down. And then get away from your hand and just go down the hair. All the way to get to the tip of here. Now when I get to the tip of the hair, at the tip, okay, right here, I'm still not, I'm still having stops. Okay, I'm still going all the way to the tip, to the end. Just get it at the end. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Right here, 
I got to focus it towards there. And while I'm doing that, I'm still getting all the way, you see that, to the end. I'm going to the tip, to the tip. I'm going all the way down. But I'm keeping my hand away from the hot steam because the steam can burn you. You see, I said, it says caution. High heat. Okay, that's what it says. It says caution, high heat, steam. Meaning that you need to be careful because it can burn you. Okay? And so we're going to go ahead on and we're going to just take and we're going to do it like this. We're going down. We're going to steam. And we're going to steam. And we're going to keep on steaming. And not only am I steaming the back, I'm also steaming, I'm steaming this way too. So I can get underneath the wig where it will take and it will get all messed up and it will get real tangled real bad okay so that's part one of how to steam the hair and what you want to do is you want to go section to section to section so once you get finished with that first section then you take the next section let the next section drop down turn your steam off this gonna take patience okay Now, we're going to untangle this other group of hair. Okay, so we're on that section, second section. And we what we're doing is, we are steaming the hair, but we're steaming the hair in sections. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm not doing it all at once. I'm doing it in a section. Is it all right? All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to take and get my tool again. I'm going to hit that button. Pow! The steam comes back out. And now I'm going down the second section. Holding it at the end, going all the way to the tip. All the way to the tip. Holding it out. All the way. Until I get the tip. All the way. Okay, now if I pull my uh, wig head back real far from it, then I can show you what I'm doing. So, I'm going all the way. And when I go to the all the way, I'm going to the tip, and then I'm going to let it go, because I'm not going to burn myself. I'm not striving to do any burning. Okay? Okay. So, go over that several times, uh, as many times as you feel like that you like with the wig that you have, depending on the desired straightness that you want to have, or if the wig have got, like, tangled and out of control for you, and then go ahead on and work with that hair and get it straight to the point how you want it. Now I'm turning my steamer off. Next step, in order to be able to get a curl, all I'm doing is, I'm using a Conair iron, but I'm not going to plug it up. What I'm going to do is, in order to get that size curl that I want, all I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a section of hair, like this. Just take this section. Got this section of hair. This is the section that I want. Okay. How I'm going to use this clip, these clips are, I'm going to move this other hair, once it's steam, out of my way. I want to hold it out of my way. Okay, because I don't want it to be in my way in order to be able to steam this hair. Then, what I'm going to do is, all I'm going to do in order to get the, spin, the curl pattern in this hair, okay, is I'm going to take this barrel right here. And then first, I'm going to get, get, get the desired curl I want. I'm going to go down it. Hope y'all see this. I'm going down. And then, from there, I'm going to spin it to where I want it to be. Okay, I'm going to spin it all the way up this time. Okay, now, I got it all the way up where I want it. Okay, now, 
All I'm going to do is take my steamer. Very simple. It's on. You hear steam coming out. You can see it. See that steam. Okay. Very good. Now I'm going to hold it on to that curl. And I'm going to steam it. Not only am I going to do that, I'm going to turn it around a little bit so I can get the rest of the hair. And I'm just going to rub it over that iron there. With the curl line and let the steam get inside of it. Go to steam it. Okay. If you want to, you can uncurl it a little bit more. All the way down if you choose to make sure that the steam get the hair the way that you really, really, really want it. Okay, then spin it back up. And just hold it there for a while. Now, when you get finished steaming, put it out the way. I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. I can keep on going. Put it out the way. Now, what you want to do is, once you get finished doing that, you want to take, in order to let the curl down, you want to twist and twist. And twist and twist to the end. And this is how you get in that drop curl in the hair with a stamer. Okay? You see that? That's the curl. Okay? We're going to do... Now that we've done that, we're going to move on. To the next weed. Now this is the next one. Okay. Now we're going to do something where as. Take for example. And move this other hair out the way. Because I'm going to work on the front right now. And only the front. Do all this other hair back. I'm going to out of my way. And I want to take. And I want to make a curl. In the front of the hair. Okay. I wanted to make it earl, curl it under, curl it over, whichever way that you want to curl it is your business. Get that same curling iron. Okay. When we get that same curling iron, take that curling iron. Okay. And put that shorter hair. Okay. And curl it around. The curling iron. Okay. Now once you get around the curling iron, get your steamer again. Okay. Get your steamer. And hold it. You want to get the inside of the curl as well. And put it up on the hair. Like that. Okay. Then, once you release the steamer, okay, do the same thing. Release it, and it will make a flip or make a curl in the hair. Okay. We're going to do another one. Okay, but before we do that, if you want that curl to hold in real tight, then take that curl, once it's been already done with the steamer, and then lock it in. If you want that curl to be tighter, take your clip and just hold it and clip that hair, clip it. Down into place. Okay. Clip it. 
Hold it. Now, go to the next curl. There's a big curl knot. You can do it any size curl knot, smaller or bigger. We just I'm just demonstrating what the steamer can do. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm flipping it over instead of under. Just, 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 just to get understanding of that. Okay. Me and me and myself I'm flipping over. I mean I'm curling it back up this way instead of curling it under going that way. Okay. And I'm going to take this hair all the way to the end. And I'm going to just turn it up. Just like that. Right there. Now I'm going to get my steamer again. Wow. Here come the water. Here come the steam. You see it? The steam. Wow. It's coming. You see it? And we're going to hold this thing. So that you would use the steam clothes and curtains and all that stuff. But this kind of hair, people say they can't curl it with a synthetic curling eye because it burns. It's not human hair. This is synthetic. It's a very highly you know, expensive synthetic weed. Okay. Her name is Nicole. Okay. Okay. Now, we done did the steamer thing. Let me release that button. Okay. Then, this is my clip. Now, I'm going to take and I'm going to release this like that. And as you can see, there's a curl that's there. Now, because I want that curl to hold, I'm going to take that curl. And I'm going to roll it back just like this. If you don't have clips, use bobby pins. That'll work too. Okay. Now, once I, once I take and I do that, then I'm going to go just let, put that clipper in there. Put that clip in there and hold it down. There it is. And the next curl is in place. We're going to do that one more time. And then we'll do one more drop curl. And that's something for you to practice with. Okay. This project is easy to do. It's not hard. And we're going to do one more drop curl. And after that, this video will be over. And um, I'll show you the finishing result of what it looks like after I get finished. Okay. Because this is work. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Now, this is the third one. You see it? Okay. We finna go get old, good old kind of steamer. You finna hit that button. Pow! Okay, very good. And we going to the next one. Okay. We gonna steam. Nope, steam the coal here. Let's let this wait. So you stay in my heart. So you stay in my heart. For a while, hold it. For a while. Now, I'm going to lift up on this, okay? I'm going to come up off that button right there. And let's see what happened to the coal. There's a curl. Okay. There's some curl in there. Okay. Now, and we want that little bit of curl that's there to hold in a coat. What we want to do is we want to roll that around our finger there. And just hold the coat in place. Okay. That's a demonstration of how to work with short hair. Or a very fine weed. Okay? It, it don't necessarily have to be human hair. It can still be synthetic. Now, we're going to go back over here. Just pull. Just right here. We're going to pull her back out. I'm going to take a small little space. You see the small little pieces that I'm taking? 
small. I'm not taking huge, huge sections of hair to do this. I'm doing small sections, very small. Okay, now I'm going to take my clip here, and I'm kind of just move this hair out the way. That's what I want. I'm moving her out the way because it's in my way right here. Okay, now if you want to take even smaller sections, even smaller, I'm mean, talking about smaller curl, go ahead on and just go on and get that smaller, smaller piece. I'm talking about a small piece like this. Not a big piece, a small piece. Okay. That's my brush wrap. Don't worry about that. Okay. Now, here we go. Now, I got it all the way to the end. You see me putting it all the way to the end. Now, I'm going to just curl this. Okay. And when I curl it, notice that I'm holding it to a, I, 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 once I curled it, it's not, I'm not holding it straight. I'm turning it, once I curl it, I'm twisting the hair this way. I'm twisting it. So it can go straight up and down. Now, woo, they go kind of steam. Not standing steam. Kind of. We're just going to wrap that hair right on around that steamer. One for the money, two for the show. Three to get ready. And now go, go, go. Very good. Here we are. Now, I'm, this is a trick I'm showing you. Roll the steamer out a little bit so you can get the inside of the curl. Get it. Roll the curl, roll the curl right now. Spin it. Okay. Then spin it back in. And get it real good. Okay. You want to get the ends all the way to the ends? Roll it down to the ends. You can do that too. You know, so I want my curl to be dead real super tight down at the bottom. I want that curl to be tight. Get it at the bottom like this. Now roll it back up. And while you roll it, stay. While you're rolling it, stain. These are uh, other techniques. Okay. Roll it back up. Do you want to take all that? Yes, it do. Bam. Now, I'm going to lift up off that steamer. It's go, it's going to, I'm turning it off so the steam can't go back. Can't go. It can't come out. Okay. Now, from there, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to spin it. Okay, you see the spin? I tore it. I went wrap it right. Now I'm gonna wrap. Then I'm gonna wrap it again. Now I'm gonna release it. Ding 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 ding. Drop curl. Hello. Hello. That's it. Okay. And you just keep on doing it all the way to the end. No problem. Okay. Now, another technique you can do, like I said before, you can start from the ends of the hair. Let the steam come out. Then steam it. From the ends. Get the inside. Make sure you get the inside because you want to steam it good. Then while you're doing that, you want to spin. Okay? That's a little harder. And then kind of steam it there. Is it alright? Very good. I'm still here. No matter about you see me or not, just look at the hair. Okay. Roll it back out a little bit. And this is the Cat 22. Okay. So we have learned how to straighten it. And we have also learned how to curl it. Let me hit this. Pow. Okay. There we go. So if you have a wig that is very unruly, okay, from there, we're going to spin this. We're going to spin this. We're going to spin it. We're just going to wrap it around and unleash it and release it. And there we are. Three beautiful drop curls right there. You've seen it with a curl on eye. I didn't plug it up. All I did 
for the this hair here. And you can see, we're putting it all the way back next. So you can get those dry curls. There they are. Okay? Very good. Uh -huh. So, take that. For the ones who are trying to straighten their hair, remember, take a section. Release it. Okay, then... I'm on this side right here. Brush it out a little bit. Help you help yourself to make it a little straighter. Okay? Brush it. Do a little untangling yourself first. Because you want to straighten the hair and then it's tangled too. Because that's not going to be a good idea. Okay? Now... If you want to take smaller sections to steam them, be my guest. And, and that's to take a smaller section and kind of pull it out the way, move it out the way, okay? Move out the way, and then take a smaller section, okay? Make sure you brush it real good. Because we're about to end this video. But I want to break down that mystery of how to work with that. Drop curl thing to get the hair, okay, where well, you can be able to do what you need to do, okay? And this is how we're going to do that steaming thing. Remember, go hold, don't hold the hair all the way up there where the steam can burn you. Hold, go all the way to the end. See, I'm at the end? Right there. I'm at the end. Now, I'm going to hit that thing. Here comes the steam. There it is. And I'm going to go that. And I'm holding it to the end, 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 to the end. Once I get to the end, I'm going to let, let it go. Okay? Go up under it. And this is how you're going to press hair that is synthetic. Okay? Synthetic. Or you can take big sections like this. Just big sections, and then do it like this, and just take the steamer down it real easy. That's the, that's the easy way to do it. Once you get to another section, okay. If you want to get a better steam, you say, "Oh, it's not coming out looking like it looked like your hers on the camera." Okay, brush. Okay. So it depends on each individual. Some want to take smaller pieces, fine. Some want to take bigger pieces, fine. Everybody don't have all day to do this. Okay. But as long as you know, oh, I can take it and I can steam it and then get it straight. Uh -uh. Okay. Take a little section if you choose. You see how you see how the water's running out? If you need to refill it, you know how to fill it. I'll show y'all how to fill it again. Just show y'all how to fill it. Okay, just take your water and refill the basin again and start over. That's, and how you refill it is you remove this off by lifting this thing and it comes off. So what I'm going to do before I steam this other hair, I'm going to do it one more time. So that they, so you can get an understanding of how you do that. Lift off the cork or wherever you need to remove to open it up for your steamer, whatever kind of steamer you have. Now hold on to the bottle. The reason why I got the bottle, the bottle tip, is because the bottle tip. It's very, very small, and it's easy to pour because, like I said, that little trough there, where the uh, where 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 it's gonna go, that little hole is real small. Okay, aim for it. You know, it's just gonna be a clean transition. But ooh, this is so easy. She must have did this a whole lot 
before she tried to make this video. Hundreds of times. Very good. Okay, very good. Here we go. Pow. Smoothie back on. We put the cork, pop the cork back on in there. Ding, ding, ding. There we go. Now, we're going to do it again. Huh? Before we get, huh? Hit this. Lift it. Okay? Then we're going to take that little area that's down at the bottom, like what I said, where that little hole is. Fit it. Then, once you fit it in there, get, get a hold of that cork. Okay? Very good. Snap it back in. Make sure it's in place now. If it don't look like it's in place, if it look like it's lifting back there, you didn't get it. So you don't need your um, thing falling out while you're trying to do the hair. Okay, very good. All right. Remember, don't try to steam this, <laughs> steam somebody, somebody weird with it's on their head. Okay? Don't try to do that because that might literally burn somebody or hurt somebody. Do this off the person's head. Okay? Let's do this to your own wig or whoever wig. Okay? Now, let's hit this button right here. We got a refill. Yay! Okay, very good. Now, and on and on and on we go. All the way to the end, all the way to the end, all the way to the end, all the way to the end. Ah, to the end. You can just steam any color weed. And you can also do this to um, um, hair, that braiding hair too. Connectalon hair. This is also Connectalon. And we just going on down it. And we're going to straighten it all on out. It's easy, man. Straighten it out. Get it straight. Hi. Come on, America. Let's go, England. Yay. For anybody who want to know, I was also drafted in by the, uh, uh, sorted with the, uh, on, on, on the computer. Uh, for, um, just taking a test when I was a kid, just watching movies and stuff like that. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And two, the house, Gryffindor was the house they took and they sorted me in. Okay, I was sorted into the house of Gryffindor. And, well, we know, we're, 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 we're Ravenclaw and Gryffindor was kind of fighting on me a little bit. But I was sorted into that house in 2004, 2005, 2006. And also, I took a test with the Marauder map to see what wand I would have. And my wand would be a 13-inch penis feather, just like Harry Potter. Very good. Just just some just some uh, fun facts for you to know. We're gonna do this. I was also born I was born in the month of August in the um, year 1972. That's a fun fact for some people who didn't know. What day was Pablo actually born? We got one more good time. If we're gonna we gonna do it, yeah! Hit that button. Do what they say. And for for the road, this is one more good time. Just watch how I'm doing that. Hold it at the end. Don't, don't let it get your fingers. Like I said, don't hold it up here. Don't hold it up here. Hold the steam it. You go up here. No. You hold it all the way to the end. You don't want to burn yourself. Okay? And just like you would use a flat iron to straighten your hair. Okay? Guess what else you need to straighten your hair? Hello. I even, I'm even pulling it up this way. You can do it like that too. If you think that you got, you got, you got what it takes, you got skill. Okie dokie. So, now, those areas that was really super, super, super burned or that were looking bad and, um, they was like burned or, and uh, they was like, you know, not holding on and they wasn't holding on to the situation. There, there we go. You can steam the hair back out. No matter what the condition that it may have been, even if you did burn it with the curl line kind of bit, a little bit, you can do that. Okay? Very good. You know, and just kind of like hit it like that and kind of go down like that. We good. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. And I'm concluding with that. And I'm also letting you know to don't forget the stuff you need in order to style the hair. Make sure you get your little radiance. This is sheer radiance. Little hair gel. You can use any type of hair gel. When you get finished styling your hair, get you some holding spray. As I said before, this right here is just a brain. This right here is called Bella Linda hairspray. Okay. Got the Bleed Glue Ultra Hair Gel. 
use that to lay down your baby hair, lay down your natural hair before you add on your wigs and things like that. And then your good old fashioned mousse. If you need to straighten out a wig and brush it out and get it a little softer and smoother and straighter before you take it, you put it in the ponytail to do whatever extra you, stuff you're going to do. Perrier mousse and any fabulous mousse that you have at your house that, can, that will work for you. Um, I'm not stressing a specific time. Okay, now, now once once you get finished doing your little uh 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 uh, uh um, so this this wig was really bad. My wig had some burning even on the ends of the tip because I had used a curling iron on it. But even then, it still knocked out some of that really bad, 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 bad hard hard burn that was there. It didn't get every part of here. It just got some parts. But even then, even so, I still smoothed it out a little bit. And you see that? Okay. So, it is what it is. Okay. So, if you're going for straight hair and you're straightening it, wonderful. If you're going for curls and you want to put curls in the hair, wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay. And remember this. Once you get finished taking and you put no drop curls in the hair, spray it. Not a lot. Okay, just a little tiny bit. Okay, just a little. Okay, for those drop curls, and those drop curls will hold in there. Okay, now I'm going to move this wig out of, out the way. Before I say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with somebody. It's okay. Now, we see this, where where these are. Okay, um, you might want to do the same thing as well. Okay, so once you got finished curling the hair, kind of do it like that. Okay, the curling spray holds on to the little curl that you're striving to put in your hair. Okay, now once you get finished doing that, leave that in there overnight. Okay, leave it in there overnight or if you're in a hurry, make sure you got at least two or three hours ahead of a situation before you take your curls down and brush your curls out, okay? Very good. All right, so when you want to brush your hair and you want to brush your wig out, if you don't have a wig brush, this will do just fine, boo. Okay, this, these, kind of, these kind of brushes is meant for this kind of stringy texture type hair right here. Is that okay? All right. I want y'all to have a wonderful day. Thank you. This has a, a, been an um, informative video for uh, the ones who are striving to style their hair. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put them back in place. This week, this week, stand here is Lily D. And we did the curly. Okay. On her. Okay. To get an idea of what you're doing with that steamer. Okay, and then with this wig stand right here, let's bring her back. Over here has been the star wig stand from the beginning. Okay, and her name is okay, the oldest one had over 20 years. That's because she all banded up, patched up, and everything else. Latoya D. Latoya D had been the champion for me styling these wigs for. A long time. Without no toilet D, I wouldn't know where I would be. Okay? Yes, I may get a new wig stand someday, but sh I'm, I'm, I'm attached to her because she has been the one that been a champion. She has helped me win a whole lot of pageants and a whole lot of different uh, situations. So we got how to curl the hair here. You see what's going on with her. We curled her. And also, and, and, uh, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, and don't forget to share this video with someone else. It really does help the channel grow. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. This is Paula Dusson Senior um, right here. Okay. They style and steam these wigs. Thank you very much. Get you a Conair steamer or whatever steamer you can. Thank you. Hello, hello, everyone. This is Paula Abdul. And, uh... This is uh, the wig, Nicole, and um, this is what she looked like after I took it. And I rolled her up with the steam rollers, and as I said before, you can take and you can use bobby pins to take and when you take and roll in a finger roller hair, 
Of course, people who do here know this, you can use bobby pins. So those are the bobby pins to hold them. I just put two bobby pins, one going to the right, one going to the left, and crisscross it, and the bobby pins are there. And you can use those, and you can also interchange that with the clips and stuff, too, in order to, to be able to roll a hairstyle, okay? So that if you don't have those fancy rollers, okay, that a lot of people be using in a video to be able to roll hair, just know that you can be able to use, you can also use the steamer, okay, like I did with the curling iron. And you can be able to do curls as well without the steamer. Okay? So, um, the next video I'm going to be making is what the hair looks like well, um, once the, all of the rolls, the curls been taken down. And um, after all the curls are taken down, then I'll do another video just briefly on what it looks like once it's styled. And um, I didn't do a lot of music with this, so whatever. But um, I'm going to be doing a brief video of what Nicole looked like after she styled as well. And so, you know, notice that I have the bobby pins in different areas and whatever. And this is called the pin curl style because you have to, after you get finished using the uh, steamer, as I used that video already, you, I just made that video less than a week ago, like how to steam hair and how to roll hair and curl hair with a steamer. This is what I did, and this is what I did with Nicole. I just used the steamer, and I rolled her, and after I rolled her, then I rolled her up on my fingers, and I used the bobby pins to hold her, and then um, I'm going to be styling her as well. So stay tuned for that video. Thank you. Okay, that this is the video right here of what she looks like after I got finished steam curling her and after I got finished putting the roller or taking all of the uh bobby pins out. Well, if you can see that the hairstyle set beautifully after I got finished taking and I got finished steam curling this wig. Okay, and so the next step is to take each curl and lightly, lightly pull those curls loose. We want to lightly release the curls down. Lightly, don't yank them, but lightly release the curls and as you can see, it's um, the hair is forming those ringlets a lot more so. You can still get them in shorter hair. They don't have to be the longest hair to get those ringlets. But this hair is not human hair. This hair is synthetic hair. And so, you know, it takes a while to be able to get that look and that look is very popular uh with the pin with 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 the uh Shirley Temple curls in pageantry. Okay, the hairstyle is not hard to achieve as you can see for yourself. All it takes is patience. So there's no need to pay somebody four or five hundred dollars for that hairstyle. Okay. When you have the intelligence to make that hairstyle happen yourself, okay? I see a lot of girls who see girls in the pageants and stuff, and they have their hair in these little pin curl and ringlets, and their daughters, their hair and hair pieces is in these pin curls and ringlets, and then they want to start charging somebody four, five hundred dollars for this hairstyle. And that don't make no sense when an individual can do this without having to go that far. Okay? So this is that tutorial for those individuals who just think they don't know how to do hair. And they got to pay somebody an overly exceptional amount of money to do something simple as a ringlet. And I mean like ringlets like Shirley Temple. Okay? Don't, don't be fooled. And um, let somebody scam you. 
Okay, this is what these videos are made for. Okay, so you can see that even a synthetic wig and that synthetic hair there can hold on and make these ringlets here. Okay, so don't overpay people for something that you can do on your own. Okay, don't do that. It's a scam. Okay. Now that we got all of that, you're seeing how it's coming out now as I'm pulling each curl and letting it get its own little mind of its own or whatever. Okay, so now that you see what it looks like and the curl itself, then we'll take and we'll style the hair and brush and do all of that to get the style that we want. Okay. And from there, kind of just kind of run your fingers through the hair. You can also run your fingers through the hair as well, like this, and kind of pull those curls into place going backwards the way that you want it. You don't necessarily even have to really use a brush, not really, to get it to go in the direction that you want. Okay, if you want the hair to go backwards or the hair to uh, take a different form, you know, and you want that hair to blend in with the other hair, it's, it's sim as quickly, as simply as run your fingers through it to get it, the majority of the work going there. Okay, as well as with the other side, it's just taking the, taking your fingers and kind of pulling your hair, your fingers through there. Okay, some of this stuff is easy to achieve and it's achievable without having to pay all these other people to do styling for you in order to do your wigs. Okay, I mean, that's wonderful that people have confidence in their skill to do hair, but, you know, you got to have confidence in your skill to do your do hair, too. Okay, and as you can see, with me just taking a finger, styling this, what's starting to happen to the hair. Okay, and I haven't even really used a comb or brush to really get it into place yet, but now you're starting to see what's happening to the hair. And all that, so you know, just just use you use wisdom when it comes to things like this. I'll be back uh, when I completely get finished brushing this coming her to a style, and uh, I'll be completely done. But this is what the roller set looks like, like this. To start off, your child or your daughter's hair piece, a head piece, or wiggly or whatever. Thank you. Okay, now this is the finished style and finished set of what happened with that hairstyle after it's styled. And um, after I got finished styling it, you still see the ringlets. If you can see the ringlets up close, this is what that wig that was straight looked like before. And now it has the ringlets in it, just like you see. And a lot of pageant hair. A lot of young women pay to get their hair fixed like that and styled like that. After that, I got the Aquanet spray. It worked just as good. Aquanet only cost maybe $2, $3. Get a small little bottle of that. Not expensive. And just spray. Spray. Spray that hair. And hold it in place. And now you have a style wig. For your daughter or whoever it is that you're trying to do if you use a synthetic hair or human hair and this is this this is the finished look that you're gonna get golden hair very much just like Barbie okay this is my wig hair lady I'm styling her on but this is the style and this is the finished result and this is Barbie Life in Dream House theme song.
Yeah, so that's Barbie, and that's a thing that I did for the Barbie we for the Barbie pageant that I did this week. This is an addition on to that. And that's Barbie Life in the Dream House theme song if you're looking for it. It is also could be a really good song that you can do a dance with or a time twirling routine with or work with your baby on a rhythm gymnastic, you know, little dance or something like that. Maybe a few car wheels or a little split or some front rows or back rows and then dance with a little uh ribbon or whatever, something really cute, but this is a hairstyle, and I just use this wig as an example of how a lot of those hairstyles are cheap, even for little girls. Okay, big girls or little girls with the ringlets. Okay, and that's done at home. Okay, not paying four, five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars for a headpiece or head hair pieces and stuff in order to get that same look. So I just want to break that down, that you can do that with that steamer. This is what happened after I got finished taking and using synthetic wig and then using the curling iron. It's like I did, I showed you. I use this kind of curling iron right here. And then I use the steamer in order to be able to get the curls in it. That's, this is the same exact wig. I did a steamer demonstration on how to get those two curls in the side. And then I said, I when I get finished, I was going to come back and get my steamer and then, you know, show that style with the kind of steamer that I have in here. Okay. That's the steamer. It's put away. But this is, I use the uh, curling iron and I use my steamer. Okay. What it says, like I said, this is the steamer. Got a little bit of water still left in there, just a little bit. But this caution, it says caution high heat steam. I use that with the curling iron. With this barrel curling iron right here, like I said before. Oh my gosh, it's getting stuck up there. Okay. With this barrel curling iron in order to be able to achieve these kind of curls. This is the bear, this is the barrel curling iron that I use. Okay, so there's no deception. I didn't bring a new wig out. I just sat there and took my time and steamed the wig. You seen the work. And then I used the clips to hold the hair and the bobby pins is here. So there's no there's transparency in what I'm doing. I'm about truth. Instead of paying four or five six hundred dollars to have somebody make your daughter a wig or create a wig, you can save that money and buy her a beautiful gown or some other things that you can be buying for her. And get her pictures and other things that could be done um, for competing in that pageant. Is to uh, get her pictures is something that's more important than taking and throwing all your money away, paying all of these hairstylists and sitting up there in their chair waiting two, three, four hours waiting and waiting, waiting. Your child get neglected and not get her hair fixed and not getting like get it done. Well, you could have just went on and got the wig and the length that you wanted it and did this. And I did that at home. So that's already showing you right there that I got a hair calling definitely as a hairdresser for sure. That definitely is. And I did that with this wig right here, Nicole. Okay, I named her Nicole. And this is what's happening. And that's done on synthetic hair. That's not human hair. That's synthetic. But you see what you can do with a steamer and a curling iron. This is... And you could also do the same thing by getting sponge rollers and roll her hair up. Okay. And getting the same effect. But if you want those curls to really hold it, you have like a real, real strong, 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 strong presence on stage. You want those curls to really, really, really pop there. There they are. I'm talking about really look good. You know, and get all the ways in there. And that's that comes from a roller set. Okay. As well. So... You know, see, people say you can't use curling irons and you can't use heat on synthetic hair, but I beg to differ. You can use steam. Steam mist heat did that to that wig. Okay? Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And, um, and, and share because this also, this also really, really, really helps the channel to grow. I don't pay for subscribers. I don't pay for likes. I don't pay for views. I'm truthful and transparent. I don't make somebody 
uh, watch videos that I don't want them to watch and they have notifications on their um, computer for videos that they didn't notify to or didn't press the bell to subscribe. Uh, whatever, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to get notifications and stuff for these videos and all that. Like, comment, subscribe, and everything because I don't do things that's mischievous and I don't do things that are crooked and criminal minded. I'd rather just go head on and just do my videos. Whoever like, like, comment, or subscribe the way they choose to because that is what I choose to do. I choose not to be deceptive and be deceitful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, hello, everybody, everyone. Today, this is going to be my talent number two and my very last talent. And this song is going to be uh, by Selena Gomez and the Saint Falling Down. And um, I'm going to be a blonde version. It's coming back as a blonde as Selena Gomez. Oh, yes. Selena, if you're watching this video, girlfriend, try this hair new. Okay, you ain't got to dye your hair. You know, sure you get your blonde wig, girlfriend, and go for it. Hey, and you will definitely be a blonde. This is my 40 inch weave or oh, butt pass bullet. The soft curls and the out of Barbie. And this is what the Barbie banner says Barbie 2001, the Barbie pageant, Miss American, it may be. Beauties, and this is also my Miss MAB Miss American Princess Adventures Beauties, uh, right here. And so that is my prop over here. I might have to turn one video there so you can see it. And this is the stage prop over here, the Miss MAB American Beauties Princess Adventures stage prop. Got my little balloon on there just for the festive part of it. And I just happened to make that video where people can see it. And that is right there. Very good. That's my karaoke. And that's my batter. Thank you very much. And also, my guitar there in the memory of music and fun. Happy Easter. Happy, happy, happy holidays for this month. No April Fool's for me. I don't do April Fool's. But we are doing this video and this is selena gomez as i came back as a blonde of selena gomez only for briefly for the song falling down this is gonna be for uh talent number two for a part of do in the 20 plus division talent number two falling down let's take number one thank you Try to get this video to work. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.
you that was Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez falling down. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for the people who are watching this video. And um, for all the judges, that was the ending of that particular video. I want some adventure in